determined to keep going. And that's when I met Scott and we put the band, kept the band going, but it was kind of a different sound. And that's yeah, when we wrote all the stuff that we're working on now. So, cool. yeah. yeah. And I mean, then it yeah. fell apart. You guys are definitely, a, I mean, the, it's a headline act. There's no doubt. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you. Cool. Thanks. We're hoping. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, I'll just think of all the spaces that are opening due to people retiring and which is, you know, but there's, right. like, there's a lot of room right now to find your place. Yeah. And it's going to take a little bit of work, but sure. we're, we're determined to do it because right. I'm, I'm not stopping until this band is up. Playing there's, a lot. there's not a shitty song on this album. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. There's no filler. Yeah. Song. Thank you. yeah. Cool. You know I mean? And so, yeah, when people hear it, they're going to fit their and, and, you know, like I said, I've been passing around and, and sharing videos on social media and sending, you know, my old buddies from high school and, everybody's coming back going, holy shit, man, this is really great. You know, so, I mean, no, you know, we're not blowing smoke. I mean, it, it's, uh, you, you guys need to keep going. The product, you oh, know, the, thank you very much. That's, yeah. that's, very that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, I don't personally get feedback like that. I mean, the guys might, because they're more in touch, or especially Kurt, but I don't hear from anyone because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Kurt's house and, Maybe yeah. Brian, I'll be going to his house tomorrow, and that's it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's nice to hear somebody's perspective for sure. Yeah. That happens when you, when you get older. He's just like, ah. oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, like when I people going on huge world tours, and I'm like, uh, you know, uh, I'll just talk to people for my fucking. <laughs> I'm in my living room. <laughs> right, You're like I'm on. Yeah. travel anywhere, you know. I'll go play gigs with my friends, but other than that, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, go. <laughs> but, you know, location ain't vacation, people. That's no. Right. Oh. You know, but uh, yeah, so this song, so I had a 1970 mint condition El Camino with the uh, El stereo with blah punk, uh, with the pile driver speakers. Yeah. And I wish I could listen to this song doing 120 miles an hour <laughs> in that car because exactly. every song I'm this, I just picture myself in a car. I'm like, God damn. I get in my, uh, you know, Toyota Corolla. I'm like, mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I have glass packs. You know what I mean? We want to make eight tracks. Any, we want to make eight tracks just because this album should be on eight tracks. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That would be but awesome. You have to, but you have to sell the eight track with a book of matches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Complimentary yeah. book of matches. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, everything, uh, Helltown, great soon. Oh, everything yeah. is where it's supposed to be. You guys, no one's mm -hmm. showing off. No one's, you know, like uh, we did this. Uh, me and Jason were watching another band. And uh, we're not going to name it because we don't like to. We're not disparaging that person's art. You know what I mean? But <laughs> oh was, come on! Was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, talk shit. Yeah. Talk yeah. crap about people. <laughs> yes, this fucking jag off does a whole blue tune and then sends in a little blue, bitty blue, bitty blue. I mean, I mean, <laughs> right in the middle of the fucking song, it totally fucking ruined it. I don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know nothing about music, so I think it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we're like, oh, man, what'd you do that for? You know what I mean? Right. Like, everything's, you know, the mix is really good, you know. Ooh. Everything has space in this. Cool. Album. You know, it's nice. really good, really good. And, Thank of course, uh, Ripcord. Yeah, we're going to react yeah. to that with you guys right now. Ooh. Uh -huh. What's it? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. What a great dude this uh, like this whole thing if someone put like an a road album out this should be the entire oh, yeah. soundtrack <laughs> cool. yeah it's got that feeling you know what i mean nice. so what, what, what's this song about and how did you know what's the background to it scott the background of the lyrics yes well geez i hate when people ask me that <laughs> right off the cuff. <laughs> it's like asking, what's the time? Why did you name the song Black Dog? Yeah. yeah what's what's about, hey, hey, mama. Saying? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. I think it was a, kind of a reflection song about literally about uh, a couple of them are that way about getting older, I suppose, because uh, I can't remember the dang title right now of the song I'm thinking of on the album, of course, but. Um, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Sorry. I was, no I was listening and then I I didn't know we were back on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a reaction video. We have to break it up. Otherwise, we'll get a copyright strike. So we got to break it up. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. God. So that's yeah, what yeah. You know, people are like on, on the uh, YouTube channel, like, why are you talking during the, it's a reaction video it's not a review you know <laughs> um, so you get a cop who gives you a copyright strike right uh, it's our video company. Yeah. like wea is horrible everyone else yeah. is pretty cool like the smart like rap pack's pretty cool you know other yeah. this is cool you know um but the bigger ones you know they'll give Ooh. me a strike and we're just promoting their their acts you know we're not you know right. we're doing yeah. a, love them we're not shitting on any artists you know what I mean? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, for me, this this is uh, kind of like Scott said about about getting older. You know, it, you, you kind of because you're so used to like disasters and things like that, and you're just like, let's just get it done. Right. You know, get it over with because you're used to it. You'll get through it. You know, yeah. and that's kind of a real kind of a you know a, innocuous kind of way to describe that. And then a lot of it for me, what I like about Scott's lyrics, they're kind of innocuous, where you can read into it what you want where they're not just blatantly yeah. telling you this is what the song is about and this right. is what it means you know kind of like yeah. yes you know i'll be the roundabout yeah it was yeah. amazing <laughs> you know All right you know All but right. it sounds cool so absolutely <laughs> Yeah. It, it literally leans towards uh, alzheimer's and i'm not joking it's it's about you know getting uh, when people are, I'm, I'm more talking about not us getting older, but elderly people when they get older and they start to lose touch. Sure. And I don't know why I went with pull on the rip cord. I, I don't know. I know the rest of the lyrics make a lot of sense to me, but that part there, I'm not so sure. You know, I think it's just get it out, get it on, and get it over with before it's too late. Is kind of the the point of the song. Right on. Right on. So digging it. Let's go. It's not too deep. You know, this is one of the songs on your album that makes me feel young. <laughs> you know, it just has that, like, a, everything, you know, get in the car, get in the car, every, every, get in the car. <laughs> yeah. That's it's right. Great oh, that's too. great. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, getting back to the Alzheimer's, uh, my dad had Alzheimer's for seven years, so I was kind of like, inquiring about the background of the song, so that's another reason why I love it. So, right Right. On. Cool. Yeah. And part of that answer of mine I balked on is because uh, my mother's in the last 
months of her life. So when I go down that road to talk about it, I don't want to, you know, have a right. flood over here. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Sure. So, but that is where I went with it. You know, like I said earlier. So. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Brian, I I also have to say as a as another bass player that your bass your tone is oh yeah killing them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I I've always been a pick player, and I've always liked kind of a bright mid tone. Was, yeah. I don't know why, but it's, it's yeah. what I've liked. Uh, to be. It's cut. It cuts yeah. right through nice. Yeah. It's it's, it's yeah. perfect. A yeah. little That's bit right. of a little bit of grind on it too, just enough. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. so, just perfect. a hint of yeah, distortion you, there. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can hear every instrument and every Appreciate person it. has this place yeah. in the sound. Cool, yeah. right so, on. You know, you know I, I, yeah. I've got a, I've got a Pat Kurt on the back. You know, he and I both had like analog studios because that's what you had. You know, in the, yeah. in the late yeah. '80s, '90s, whatever. Mm -hmm. So being able to take those skills of having to actually get a good performance and then using the tools that you have now. It's it's so great to have full automation to be able to go back and remix and mix and you can spend the right. time to get it right. Kurt spent the yeah. time and got it right. And really yeah. when this record was done, I just I just remember looking at it feeling so proud of it. Sonically, yeah. song wise, you know, oh, the whole yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Great yeah. Yeah. That's, exactly, yeah. that's exactly why we decided, well, we gotta be a band. We gotta yeah. keep this going. You know, yeah. Because, yeah. And we were, it was just great working together again, too. So yeah. Now we have a fun time, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you know what else is cool about this album? Chicks dig it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> dig it. That, that's that's why you do it, right? Yeah, I mean, right. You know. oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Chicks in there. <laughs> <laughs> we, Sorry, we, I had to interject that. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the no. problem that this band has, the biggest problem that we have, is we probably laugh, we'll have a, like a meeting on the phone and we'll oh, forget God. what we were talking about because we'll go off the rail. <laughs> right. And then we'll hang up and go, wait, maybe we should talk tomorrow about what we wanted to talk about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that in the studio too. We do that in the studio and we'll just sit in there and all of a sudden we'll get sidetracked just laughing for a half hour. It's like, oh, we're supposed to be working on something. You know? right. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, here we go. Hey, man. That was a badass. Oh, I lost you. Yeah, oh, yeah. There? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, there you are. You're right. what yeah. Kind of, yeah, what kind of guitar are you playing on that? Uh, what what year? That's a 68. 68 custom. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Had that for a long time. Actually, I bought that, had that right when Hall of Flame started. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great, man. What a great yeah. song. Cool, thank you. Standing in my shoes, now what would you do? You can see through me, but I can't see through you.
It would have been funny if the guy would have tumbled and stuff after he landed. <laughs> <laughs> Broke his leg in an ambulance. I'm like, this is what you don't want. Wow. I'm sorry. Ah. I was, one, thing I, I, one, th one thing I want to say about that particular video, well, actually all three of those videos, uh, our buddy Rick Moyer at Multime Multi Moyer Multimedia in Aberdeen did those videos. He did a great job. But what's cool about that one is he had got the people. We shot it at the Kapowson, uh, 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 uh Shelby. Yeah. In Shelton, yeah, Skydiving Academy. They We shot it there, and he went up there to, to try to see if we could use that place to shoot it. And they went up in a plane and shot exclusive video, video footage yeah. of of them leaping out of the plane. So that's not stock footage. That's somebody who shot it exclusively for that video. Oh, wow. So I thought that was pretty cool, yeah. Wow, awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I could never – Pay money to jump out of a perfectly no way. I oh no, no way. No. Jumping out of a perfectly good airplane, uh, no, no, that's you know, not. I can't I, even. I, every time I see Brian jump off those cabinets, my knees yeah. hurt. I'm yeah. not. Yeah. I, you just took the words out of my mouth. I was gonna say that the thing that just occurred to me was like I was impressed he could still get up there because it'd take me right. forever. I'd be like, exactly. He got like. <laughs> Dude, I can't even get – I can barely walk upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, well, I, heard, I heard it for like a month after that. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. It looked yeah. natural, though. I'm just saying, I bet you yeah. he didn't do six takes of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Nobody, nobody uh, doing it a stack, not a half stack. Uh, so I was, yeah, I was cool with it, yeah. Right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely.